<laughs> oh, that's enough of that. How are we all doing, everybody? I hope you're uh, all having a fantastic day. Um, we're probably going to get this VOD muted now for that. Thanks, Rick. But um, I hope, yeah, everyone's having a good one. Um, man, what an awesome weekend we had, hey? That was... It's going to be in everyone's head all day long, right? All night long, all morning long, wherever you are. We started a little bit earlier today. Why not, right? Who, you know, rules are for uh, for stiffs, I think is what they say. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and just going to play. I'm going to have an open player. An open player? A multiplayer game again. We're just going to have some fun. Have some competitions and stuff going. Um, and we're going to talk about the great ones, right? Because what a freaking awesome beta. I've never seen you guys more engaged in my life. Okay, I don't even know how we get it even more on fire next time, to be fair. You didn't even know what you were looking at. And we had the best beta turnout ever by a lot of people too. It wasn't just a small little nudge, you know. Love the music, nice intro, thanks a lot. Hey, such like to off, no worries, man. It's a great song, eh? Don't, don't, uh, uh, you know. Don't don't diss the Rick, I suppose. Um, anyway, so what are we doing? I can't even remember. That's not nothing new though, is it? Um, why are you preparing to launch? Just launch. There we go. Now it's done. So <clears throat> I am going to uh, just quickly change scene over while I remember. Where are we? Live scene. To do everything right. Is it loading up? I I do believe. It's it it is loading up. It is, and I wanna I wanna uh, rip some company pride here for a second. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this properly, but check out this freaking sick T-shirt. Can you guys see that? Isn't that a nice new logo? You guys might have noticed, but Expansive Worlds, uh, uh, or actually the whole of Avalanche Studios rebranded a little bit the other day. And um, let me just say, uh, we got the best logo in the company now, Expansive Worlds. Um, just have a little bit of fun and house rivalry there. Spans the world's best best worlds. So yeah, I just love it. It's so cool. It like fits, right? It fits. So before I start actually, let's do a little bit of um oh no, you know what? I'll just start a multiplayer game. What's the time? No, it won't. It's only one minute apart. We need, we need to let some more people get in here because, you know, some people which I mean, you know, I'm kind of like a hey if you snooze you lose kind of person. But we'll be fair, okay. We'll add a little bit longer before I start the game. Um so I'm I'm getting, I'm guessing have we done and have we had enough of Leighton? I don't know if you can possibly have enough of Leighton to be fair, but you know let's uh, let's go with something else. I think I think maybe some uh, Savannah possibly, but we'll just go into that. So before we start, this is what we're gonna sitting on. We're gonna play some Savannah. It'll be highest um, highest uh, session score again wins. Make sure you message me and disclaimer to can't actually send anything out until we're all back working again. Um, I actually tried to send something to Mauritius of all places the other day, and uh, I turned up to the post office and they were just like, "Mate, have you not been looking at the news?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Everything's locked down, mate. Can't be sending mail all over the world." And I was like, "Okay, well, I'm sorry then." So, yeah. Anyway, let's get some uh, information and questions and stuff going on about the great ones. While we wait for all the uh, stragglers to come in. Um, so, it was found. Okay, the the great one, the first great one was found. Um, it is. I just want to make this really clear. There's like nearly 600 ish people in, or maybe over 600 now. It's a bit of a delay on the thing. They're not non typicals. Okay, this is not a non typicals feature. This is the Great Ones is what this feature is called. And it just so happens that the first Great One has non-typicals, okay? Um, so that hopefully that clears it up. There will still be non-typicals at some stage in the game, you know, that where, where uh, other normal deer have that chance uh, to have a crazy rack on them as well. And yeah, Lucretius, I think I said that right, is the first person as well. Um, Mr. Bombaski, you're right, but point that out as well. So, and hey, you know... You can look, you can, you should talk to the man. He put a lot of hours in to find it and worked out how he thought he'd be able to find it. And it worked out for him, so I have to uh, say hats off to him for that. Uh, no, so this is back to live. So the beta closed down today. And so I saw some questions actually while I was just sitting in the, um, uh, watching the chat before, is that um, this was 
testing out the new feature okay so this is going to be free it's called great ones okay and so I have to confirm this with Phil and to see what you guys think as well but we're going to talk about the feature now and so it's, white tails is the first species to have it so they're slowly kind of like we're adding for true racks there will be um a great one added to i don't know if we'll get to every species but you know there will be these great ones for the majority of the species let's say that and they'll be they'll be added slowly uh over time and i'm thinking because of the way people liked it and again this is just my idea for this one i haven't talked to phil about this one yet so got to run up past big phil phil daddy but i think what we should do is when we add one to the game all we'll put in the patch notes is great one added that's it right great one added i think that if we have this hype kind of in the game in live all the time and then the other thing that about this is that this will be good for con console users too because as you guys know um, unfortunately due to the way the process and things go we can't run betas on the consoles so this way um you know the surprise is going out at the same time for everybody basically so i think that's a i think that's a good idea so um i don't know you know we'll have to see how, how it all uh it all works and play, pans out but that's how i'd like to see it as a player i would think it would be so cool to know that somewhere there's a new great one has been released and that's it no more information at all right i think that would be kind of cool that would give me something you know that would pump me up to be out there in the fields more and more and more so basically um there's a lot and a lot a lot a lot of questions coming through if you guys are new here i'm monitoring four different chats at once so youtube twitch facebook uh, and mixer and so it's i'm no by no means at all um uh ignoring questions it's just that i have to grab ones like that and take it out so if you are your question doesn't get answered please don't spam it lots but just feel free to repeat it kind of every couple of minutes or, or something like that you know so um so a great one sounds horrible I don't know oh yeah and by the way if you if you don't know i'm at home so you might hear wyatt or yenny or something they are they are uh, in the bedroom she's trying to keep him quiet and entertain but he's nearly two years old and full of energy so anyway but yeah so great one's the name i don't think it's that bad i mean the whole idea with this feature when we were, were planning it was like if you guys are hunters in real life you guys will know about the stories and the legends right everyone's knows about this big old deer that or an animal big old bear big old pig whatever you want that's in this area and people have seen it and it's massive and you know someone's dad's monkey's uncle's brother you know had a shot at it and um a mist or you know hey it's got this funky rack on it you know um so that's kind of where where it, where it stemmed from so we wanted to have these uh in in the game as like a it's it's definitely um you know that next level up from diamond right so diamond we're not changing any rarities or anything by the way ladies and gentlemen diamond stays the same it's just that there's this next level tear up there um that you that that you know you might be lucky enough to run into one day basically out there um and so you know like the world is our oyster really right like if i was doing this i'd love to see like um a grizzly bear on yukon that has um a scar and and maybe it was caught in the bushfire a little bit, you know, so some of its fur was a bit, a bit, uh, imagine seeing stuff like that, right? Something with a bit of character in it, something you guys can write your own stories about and things like that. So it's just that next level gameplay, you know, and it's not designed for everybody to get, right? This needs to be special. If we just had it out there so everybody could get it, and uh, then it would, it would not be, it would not mean anything so i understand that some people you know are like ah oh, man it's too it's frustrating but the thing is too is remember it's not it's also you can pursue them at your own peril really right uh, if you go after them religiously i've done that in classic a couple of times for things you go crazy and then when you stop looking for them that's when you find them right so um it's just something that to have in the back of your mind you know you want to we want you to think you never really know what's out there right you don't know what animals are out there there might be something something lurking around the next corner basically so that's that's kind of the just to give you a rundown of where this idea came from uh stuff like that. <laughs> cool story tk go shoot stuff all right the game is starting up ladies and gentlemen um actually before we start i got one question for you 
I know those deer as non-typicals, but atypical is what it, it, it uh, comes up in the harvest sheet. Which which terminology do you guys know best? Do you call them non-typicals? Do you call them atypicals? There's no wrong answer here. It's just that we were talking about it internally before and we we're wanting to know, get a gauge of what people think. Uh, non-tip, 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 non-tip. Squirrels. Non-tip. Atypical, there we go. Non-tip, 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 non-tip. I think non-tips win. Wonky, I like wonky. 30 or 6, that's a good term for it. There's that wonky deer down the road. Have you seen it? Is it, is it a bit drunk? No, 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 it's got a wonky rack on it. So, um, But anyway, there we go. And then hy hyunicorns are the next type. We, we amped it up one level from hyenas, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, game starting. First and first served. Um, again, the winner of this will get a plushie. So it's your top session score. Damn it. Please don't use ATVs. I should have set the, uh, should have set the map not to use it. Uh, and I think I am going to do a, a bit of a favourite, and that's one around, as you may guess, maybe with a bow. So I knew TK was trolling us. When was I troll? I I didn't troll anybody at all all weekend. Not 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 a single one of you, hey? It was awesome. Um, TK, I really I just kind of actually want to sit here and take some questions more so than play. So. Um, what have I even got? I've got the... Oh, that's right. We were trying to get a uh, water buffalo with a recurve bow. It didn't go too bad, actually. Like, I was quite surprised. Um, it's quite a good little bow. Uh, there weren't ethical kills, obviously. It was uh, too light to arrow for it. But uh, I can definitely see uh, that it would work. Uh, where, where am I going to go? What's the time? It's in the morning. Um, let's go down to see if we can find some uh, Cape Buffalo down here, I suppose. So there we go. But anyway, first and first served. Uh, one, so Brain D, Hostler, Mia, uh, Captain Clanning, nice. Uh, the Fluffy, Sparky, and uh, Pharaonix are in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are full. So best of luck, everyone. Session score is what you're gonna you're trying to get. Top of that, get some uh, plushy, a plushy toy. Call the old plushy toy. So there we go. Hey Fern, how you going, man? TK, one time tops come to the Xbox. Okay, so let's go through this again. The beta in the weekend was about great ones, the feature. Okay, and so this great one, the first one we started off with, it was the white tail, and it has a non-typical rack. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just reading Hadel's comment there, but anyway, so it just happens to have a non-typical rack. So it is not the a uh, not the non-typical feature okay non-typicals will still be coming uh in a, i don't know when but one day they will still be coming okay so there we go brad moden how you doing man good to see you you want a 375 h and h oh that'd be nice you want some big some big cannons some shoulder cannons brad i hear you man i hear you so yeah this is the thing is is that they uh it is level 10 fabled okay and so the other thing right which like really for those people that want the most obscure uh legendary animal ever is that the great ones can come with rare fur variations so that is what you guys were seeing with the fabled pieball skin okay so that was a glitch so the um great one the white tail one can come with rears and you guys actually saw the fabled pieboil version of that and that's what people were seeing in the trophy lodges too um so yeah that's kind of interesting right but like the the first person to get one of those oh man that'll be that'll be quite the achievement oopsie i've still got my hang on that is a sick rack that was from the uh where in the world is that stop there it is I always forget to turn something off. Um, there we go. We're back. We're back. We Gucci. Uh, no, we're not back. Where are we doing it? I need to go this one and then this one. There we go. Now we're back. Uh, yeah. So imagine that if you got a f like you know a great a great one with a rare fur variation, wouldn't that be nuts? That would be uh, quite. Oops. Quite the uh, the the achievement. I think so. Uh, so there'll be regular great ones and rare great ones. Exactly, Katusha, exactly. So there we go. Maybe make a different scene, OBS. I'm, Mark, I'm too lazy, man. 
I'm too lazy. I just go through the list, turn everything off but the camera, and then I turn it back on again. <laughs> Briar Walling, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. So quick, keep keep firing me uh, more questions. Dogs, please, Juba. Man, I reckon, I reckon, uh, you know, I reckon dogs are probably due at some stage, right? It's a very popular request. We have them in classic, um, but we'll see. We'll see. No promises. I just, I just hear you. I, I, I hear the community that dogs are highly requested. So there we go. Um, so oh, that's the other thing, Vietoski. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, I, I totally missed the other coolest thing. So you know the one you saw? They're true racks. Okay, so the the great one for this one, the white tail is a true rack. So the uh, the non typical should not look the same either. Um, so yeah, there's there's a there's a huge big top end to the game now. Uh, you know, pretty pretty sweet, eh? That's cool. So this is we don't have a release date. So what happened this morning, which I spent about five probably five hours doing, was gathering all the feedback from the beta, making sure that the fixes, because I don't know if you guys saw, there was a quite a lot of bug fixes and stuff went in as well that we wanted you to um, to, fi to uh, check out. It looks like all the floating roads, all that stuff, that got squashed. The uh, audios had a big update, uh, and we had a lot of good feedback about that too. There was a few little tweaks that you guys suggested. Things like caller sounds are a bit low. Some of the animals coming in sound like there were two animals and things like that so and then the hunt club beta not working too that was something that we're looking into um so yeah there we go the audio changes are excellent mr mills so all this stuff is the next release okay so the great ones that were tested all these fixes all the stuff is coming out um uh once we're happy with it basically um i'm going to guess roughly three four weeks something like that two two three four weeks you know somewhere there between between now and the end of next year i think is probably a fairly safe bet so yeah uh badges raccoons capercaillie and pheasants uh i'm gonna guess you must be scandinavian of some form those are good that's a good animal selection there though actually you know what in my stream the other day somebody pitched a mongolian map at me and uh we don't often get two different a uh, angles thrown at us what he had to present was a very solid map idea actually and i will be taking that to the uh to the team actually it was a really 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 good uh map suggestion so that'd be cool i want a new bigfoot in the hunter classic yeah um when will true red deer uh come out uh uranus that is something we're working on as well dude it's going to come along really nicely actually i can say that i have seen the images of those and i think they're taking shape so to speak so i'm a little confused the great one metal is exclusive to whitetail for now no 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 so so the oh actually yes you're correct so the great one there were two glitches that was happening which was throwing people off is that high scoring diamonds were getting a great one medal for all sorts of different um for all sorts of different uh, animals and that shouldn't happen okay so there's there's going to be great ones for different species but at the moment the only great one is a, uh, a white tail so there we go what am i doing here i think i'm doing good actually i, I think uh, talking to you guys uh about this stuff is probably way more needed than oops than um hunting right now but I can hear something fairly close, and I like to uh, try and at least protect myself. So there we go. So um, all this stuff, which is what I was just trying to talk to you say before, is all this stuff is getting released to all platforms. Okay, so it was just the te beta testing uh, in the past weekend. It's not exclusively PC. Uh, the beta was unfortunately because of the way that the systems work. But all this will be going out to everybody. And everyone has the same chances of finding it once it's released. So but we do not have a release date for that yet. Irish elk, you know, like people often ask me, oh, what reserve would you like to see? And if I had to pick New Zealand map, hands down, but I am super biased. But then the other thing that I actually really, really think would go super duper well is a, uh, a, a Jurassic Park of maps. Not with, an, not with uh, dinosaurs, okay, that would be cool too, but um, more like one that has... Uh, rare extinct 
uh, so they they managed to bring back rare extinct trophy species to to get around and hunt and stuff. And you could do all sorts of things like. You know, I'm sure that uh, people are like, well, that was a good woolly mammoth. Look at the size of their tusk. Yeah, that's 10 metres long, that tusk. That's a pretty good trophy. Do you think it was a diamond? Yes, I do. And then they get eaten by a saber-toothed tiger, right? That sort of stuff would have happened, I think. Uh, but then the Irish elk and all sorts of stuff. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, and, yeah, I just want to also say thank you so much to all the awesome content creators that uh, streamed over the weekend because I saw like yeah, a lot of uh, console people saying, you know, like, it's a shame we can't uh, do this, but I'm so glad that, you know, there's this stuff we can watch, basically. So that was very cool to uh, to hear and see. All right, let's get down low and see if we can get in close, but a bit closer. Um, could you add the 7 I'd like to see the 17 HMR, Justin. I think that's a really nice rifle. It's good. So, TK Matt Session is Midwest Dakota's map with Pronghorn. Tick is something like Rocky Mountain Elk. Tick, uh, I missed like it, your message just left, but I was liking your train of thought too. Uh, can you explain? Wait, 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 wait. Can you explain more on the difference between fabled and great ones? Well, or maybe I didn't. I didn't uh, pick that one up. So, a great one has the difficulty setting of fabled. Okay, so that's that's how that works. So, um, a uh, it, that's that's their difficulty level basically um right is this thing calm it's calm let's get in a little bit closer just a little bit should be able to knock eight meters off that i think um hi chris we say you don't know we went through that again before so the true uh the great ones have true racks okay so the uh, non-typicalness will be looking different as well so there we go uh A Stone Age map, yeah, you got it. That'd be cool. Is there going to be a population reset with the release? I don't think there is Schnookums. I, I don't believe there's a need for it. Uh, in fact, that was tested out uh, in the beta, and uh, it appears that there was not a need to do that. So these all seem to be roughly the same. I don't. I, I mean, maybe I can get a little bit closer because that one's kind of a seven hard. I need it to turn sideways too. So. How many white tail were shot on the beta Arimco? I'd love to see that. I don't know. It would be thousands, say hey? thousands and thousands and thousands. Is there any legitimate strategy? Well, I mean, I guess you could kind of thin out the small ones until you got a bigger, bigger animals. Uh, I know some players do do that stuff, so it's true, true to some sort of uh, degree. I don't have multi amount trophy manager enemies. Um, Redbone, so we are looking into the trophy lodge issues as well, 100%. So, I mean, that's the other thing too, actually, is just uh, maybe a little bit more to squeeze in uh, to the next update as well. So, my maps don't get rares, neither do mine, Death Reaper, man. I'm in that same, same boat with you. Uh, though, I did get an albino horde buffalo the other day, I think. My strategy to shoot a, shoot everything and worry about uh, what they wear later. Gladiator, man, I think that's the best uh, the best way to do it too, eh? Um, if there isn't a population reset, some people may get a greater one quicker. Was showed um, I miss it. I'm sorry, the message disappeared again there. Um, there, there actually isn't really... There's not a lot of... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we'll see what happens. Eh? I don't think there's going to be any advantage to, uh, to, please put your, there we go. I don't think there's going to be any advantage, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, to uh, resetting your population. Oh, it's over. Sacked him. I mean, schlocked him. Um, is there will be a Primal 2 someday? Jared, that'd be cool, man. I really, I liked Primal. It was a good game. It was a good game. Take will we ever get suppressors to minimalize hunting pressure? We're not in a blind or stand. Um, I don't think so. And I don't think suppressors would minimize hunting pressure either. Uh, though I see actually, I, 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 I'm, 
I'm just going back through your logic, and I think I can see where you're coming from there, because the animals wouldn't have as great an idea what was happening there. Hmm, that's an interesting point. Maybe that's how f suppressors could fit into the game a little bit. That's interesting, that's interesting. Um, turkeys need to come first. We've already confirmed turkeys are coming this time, uh, this year sometime, as I was trying to say that. Um, so the Fable Bible White Ball of the same difficulty as the Great Ones. No, no, so I think you might have missed some of the stream BZ, unfortunately. But So we were talking about that before. So the Great Ones can have rare variations, but they have their own special rare variations. And what people were seeing, because of the glitch I was talking about, is that people's regular pie bell boards in the trophy lodges and stuff were turning up with this um, fabled rare skin. So that's, that's, that's what was happening there, and it was throwing a few people off with it all. So the Whitetail Great One was a non-tipped rack that can come in any form because it's a true rack that is 10 fabled. It'll be always a non-typical rack, um, but there's because of the true rack system, it'll look different, or should look different every time. Uh, Mule Deer would fit good on that map. Oh, wait. I missed that one, Ari. I'm sorry. And a dog to catch ducks. You want some more dogs? Some more dog chat? I got you in there. Whoops. Steam overlay popping up. Trail cams that can be laid like tents. On a, on a plus side, I, I kind of think now more than any time, uh, trail cam was fit great into the game because um, you'd want to know, eh? Like you could put them out to try and find these great ones. Imagine, imagine if it linked to your phone. And then you're like at work and you get a picture and there's like, I think that's a great one. Uh, oh, Shiza, that's just right there. Uh, feeling a little bit sick. Um, Got to go home, boss. Sorry, see you later. Bye. Um, so, yeah, I think that could be kind of kind of quite a cool, cool little thing. Um... Wow, so many questions, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Can you tell us about how long it will be before the battery patch goes live? Uh, Fluffy, no, we were just talking about that before earlier. We're going to, like I just finished, uh, it took me about four or five hours today to gather all the feedback from the beta. Um, yes, Steve Turkey's 100% coming this uh, this year. Unless something weird happens, and then I'll tell you if it weird happens. But the plan is still to get turkeys out this year. So there we go. Um... What were we talking about? I can't even remember. We were talking about something. Damn it, I got to sidetrack, sidetrack, sorry. New Zealand map with uh, pig honey dogs. Bradley, do you know what? I, I'm guessing maybe, Bradley, you're in New Zealand. Kia ora, if you are. But um, hunting pigs with dogs in the rest of the world is seen, seen as a very barbaric, the way that we do it anyway. I don't care. I've seen it. It's good fun. I understand um, it all. I guess they use them for beers too but i don't think it'll make it into the game just because it's too international so there we go so trail cams with phone messaging yes please all right i just had to ring phil up and be like yo phil i just promised them something i didn't just disclaimer i didn't promise anything just a cool idea throwing it out there uh wait don't you shoot the dogs if they get injured uh let's not talk about the subject anymore a fern. I think it's. I think it's better if we just don't talk about it. It's um. It's a. Uh, it's different sort of hunting. Let's put it down that way. It goes into the. Uh, yeah, it goes into a different category. Are you going to fix the leaderboards anytime soon? So they're actually not broken, Rory. They've just been taken offline because they need some work done to them, and it's turned out to be a little bit more tricky uh, than uh, was first thought. So if we were to put them back on now, they would be broken, basically. Any fixes on the elk racks? Uh, again, maybe one day. I do think, uh, you know, there could be some fixes there. Uh, Killer Cliff, stop it, man. Stop it. Can the non tips have drop times? I actually don't know. I don't think so, Warden. I, I haven't seen all the different variations, so.
catch you want you want to catch some uh, insects? Hmm, that'd be interesting. Uh, do you guys have concept artists for models? If so, are they posted anywhere public? Okay, first off, no and no. It's not really concept, like because it's not a. F uh, a made up thing right like we're dealing with real life animals so we get a whole bunch of uh animals together and we have like mood boards so we put a whole bunch of different photos together especially for antlers from like a whole bunch of small medium large you know crazy ones together like that to give them some inspiration and cecilia i think single-handedly still single-handedly does all the animal modeling all the antlers everything and then um we've got another guy priest we got a shout out to priest and some of the an other animators the other ones that do the work on the actual true to make those uh start morphing and changing and stuff like that there's a lot of work that goes into it and uh i think uh, i need to give those them a little bit of a shout out there they really go uh go out of the way to produce some good stuff um so Damn it, I have to go back over here. So the fi fabled, let's stop. Okay, let's do a recap because it is halfway through the stream. So I have to remember how to do this again from the start. So Great Ones was the feature in the weekend, right? And they are, th there is going to be a great one for more species through the game. Okay, so we we sort of, as it, as the game evolves, sorry, I should say. So the first one that came out was for Whitetails and this Whitetail happens to have a non-typical rack on it. It's not actually a non-typical feature, so that is still to come in the future where other deer can get it. Um, so Great Ones is like, it stemmed from the idea that if you guys are all real hunters, you'll know that there's these stories and myths and legends about, you know, this huge big animal that, you know, your grandpa saw three years ago down by the swamp or in the river or whatever. And, you know, it's got the scar or this marking or this crazy set of antlers and yada, yada, yada. And so we wanted to get like something in the game that kind of captured that feel. And so we've, we're have we working on this new feature called Great Ones. It's free as well. Um, and so it's, um, it's just something. So, you know, when you're ever you're out there, there's something in the back of your mind that'll tell you. Uh, yeah, there we go. About hybrid hares. Yeah, so this, this, we want these things out in the map where you just, you never really know what's out there, you know? That'd be the way. And, um, you know, like the world is our oyster with this. We've just done it with white tails, but I was saying before too, like, I would love to see like a grizzly bear or something in the game that, uh, was in Yukon, had a big scar on it, and maybe like it was a bit charred from the forest fire and stuff like that. Like something cool like that, you know, something with a bit of character in it. Um, and then, um, so what was happening with the the fabled piebald? The fabled piebald uh, was that they were actually, uh, you were seeing a rare variation for the great one. Is that it? I thought it was just there. So, the great ones can have rare variations, but in the beta, the uh, normal whitetails were getting their fur variations, and it shouldn't have been like that. So that was just a, a glitch. But you got a little sneak preview, actually, of, of it. So they got their own special rare, f rare, uh, rare skins. So there we go. Another more Cape Buffaloes down there. Let's see if I can get this gems block, though. It'll be good. Beano, good to see you, man. I've not seen you in a long time, actually. Hope you're doing good, buddy. Uh, will the great ones always spawn with some sort of non-typical rack? It's the hunter man. You never know, dude. You never know. Like, um, it just whatever takes their fancy, really. Like, we'll just try and make something uh, really important. Like, you know, I don't know. Like every season too. If you guys follow your own a hunter and you follow facebook you people take these photos of these crazy deer like last season did you guys see the deer in america i don't remember what it was with the gas bottle in its antlers so there was a deer that had somehow picked up one of those big barbecue gas bottles and it was stuck in its antlers because it had pushed in and the, the antlers had popped open and gobbled the thing up so you know what i mean like a great one might not even necessarily have this amazing rack but it'll have something cool about it you know so, yeah, there we go. So, will non topicals all be like the one found, or they look different? I mean, the, the models haven't even been made yet, Hunter 11244. So, I would say there's a good chance uh, that they look 
uh, different in the future. Uh, the rarer, the better, more hype. And that's the thing too, is I'm going to restress, okay? This is something that is designed to be out there to keep you guys, you know, like, like, oh, maybe, oh, maybe. Like, be, you know, like, if you, you can exclusively go and hunt for this thing if you want, but you're likely to go a little bit crazy. So I would not, if I was you, uh, try. I, I would just let it, you know, naturally happen. I mean, I played a lot of classic, and there's things in there that I've exclusively put a lot of hours into, and it drove me nuts. And then as soon as I stopped, um, oi, did I must have had that tree, did I? I must have that tree. And then as soon as I stop, wait, did I put the wrong arrows on? No, I got the right, I got the right ones. Uh, as soon as I stopped, I found them. Oh, he's gone now. I think I must have had that tree, hey? Oh yeah, look, there's the blinky arrow stuck on the tree there. Good times. I never, I can never uh, work out which ones you can shoot through and which ones you can't. So, um, it could be in velvet. Exactly, lumpy stuff. Like the, the cool thing about this is, is we can do whatever we want with it right it's just something that's special and 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 breaks the mold basically so there we go but yeah i think it'd be cool um but yeah so that's the first little tease about it and like i was saying to i opened up the stream by saying i haven't run this past fill yet i don't know if it's a possibility but i would like for the future ones to go out and all it says in the patch notes is great one added that's it we don't tell you what species it is we don't tell you, you know, where it is. Um, it's just another one out there that you guys can try and uh, find for yourselves, basically. There needs to be like a little bit of, you know, an, a rarity and intrigue to it all because if it's not super rare, they will lose their meaning very fast. So you know, Ryan, how, how are you, man? Antlers locked on it from a fight. Lumpy stuff. You, you're talking my, you're talking my uh, thing, man. A, uh, an old deer skeleton on it because that happens in life. In real life, you see deer with other deer heads hanging on them still. Uh oh, I'm going in. It's bad wind here, but let's just see if we can. Wait, which is my sense spray on this one? This one? Am I out of sense spray? Am I out of sense spray? Oh, I'm out of sense spray. Luckily for me, though, I'm not out of uh, first aid kits. Kappa. Um. So for you guys with the hyena wishes, uh, we've upped it to uh, high unicorns, which is a uh, hybrid hyena unicorn. And uh, people are putting in some great art over on the Discord actually about what a hyena, uh, hi, hi, uh, what I would say a high unicorn would look even look like. So it's kind of funny. Um. Which money glitch savers? If you got the uh, the Hunt Club beta thing, you got a lot of money out of that. And some people just have a lot of money in game too, especially if you played it a long time. Trophy shots would be cool one day. Uh... Smo honk, I doubt it. I doubt it, dude. I don't. I don't think there'll be uh, much of a chance of that happening. Sorry, dude. A high unicorn, so a, um, a hyena and a unicorn merged together. A high unicorn, H Y unicorn. Um, we'll go through the great ones feature again in about what's that math? Seven minutes, something like that quarter two and then one more time just before we wrap up the stream so um can you still find monster white house that were just on the open beta so this will all get released ladies and gentlemen to all platforms in the next update so that was not just an exclusive pc thing it wasn't just an easter event that was testing for for when it all actually goes into game um yeah so that's 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 uh yeah it, it's uh it was just a beta in the weekend to test everything out basically 
Uh, Maya, catch you later. Have a good one yourself. Thanks for stopping in. Could there possibly be a new 300? Possibilities for everything still, guys. Especially weapons and stuff. But I think we've got a few more to get through before we go back to the same calibers again. Uh, man, there are so many questions coming in. Like a month or longer minimum. What's that for, the Fluffy? Sorry. Chances of running water in game? You never know. One day. Was that a here? I don't even know what's going on over here. I'm not even concentrating on the game, to be honest. I'm just play concentrating on you guys. Some good questions and stuff there. Um, games channel, there is a limit just for balancing in the game, dude. Otherwise, you, you like you, people would fill out their maps, and you could also chase animals around with them. So there, ne there needs to be some restrictions in terms of maps. Uh, uh, sorry, tents in the game. I think these Cape Buffalo is long gone. Um... Wait, sorry, do you think all the bug fixes and updates going towards this version? Was there a talk of a new game altogether? Well, uh, no, I don't think there'll be any uh, any new game, if that's what you're saying. The, uh, we've stated a few times that Call of Wild is very young. Look how long old uh, Classic is. We've got a lot more to put in this game yet. So. Uh, who is on the lead in the game? That's a good question. So we have, wow, Brandy. Absolutely cleaning up. 7,187. I don't even know what he's, he's been shooting Cape Buffalo too. I don't, uh, I don't, I mean, yes, someone could definitely still catch him, especially if they got into a, a Cape Buffalo, but he's still harvesting away too. 8,000 now. So, uh, Brandy's got a very healthy lead, let's put it that way. Uh, make a hot key for ammunition change without going to the menu for PS4 hatch um, yeah that could be a nice little addition I have deleted classic from EM Steam Call of Wild is, is your game Falcons that's cool man true rack red deer no release date yet still uh, looking nice though I've seen them myself uh, keep up the good word love first oh I'm gonna miss that one Bradley I think it was in Facebook Thanks for the support, dude, but I met, like, the chat's just going like this, crazy, so I'm sorry I missed your, more, your, uh, your comment there, but thank you for the support, dude. No release date yet, guys, for this, we're, we're, we're just this morning, I finished going through the, uh, the beta feedback and compiling it all together, and we'll see what, uh, what needs doing, and then come up with a release date from there. Uh, what am I doing? I'm just walking around aimlessly here, super aimlessly, um... There's someone down there. Let's just go here. Why not? Uh, yeah, the problem is, is it's not, uh, because we're streaming to four different places, it's not putting things on uh, slow zone, uh, slow zone, slow mode wouldn't really uh, help too much. It's because it's, like I, I'm monitoring YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and Mixer all at one time, so that's uh, that's what's going on there. I should probably start using some callers. What even callers did I bring? Well, that one works. That one works. It looks like I even have a Varanga set up here. Maybe I got a tent on me, so I can always change. Okay, I think I think we actually have a Varanga set up. It's good. Um. Any chance we're going to have feeders and or food plots? Maybe one day. Wait, one day, Grey, though. You never know. Loadouts as well. Loadouts are a common uh, request there over on Mixer. Thank you very much. But uh, nothing to talk about them. Um... Will there be a clue in the game for the next content? A clue for a map. Um, I can't tell you yet. Uh, how do I say that? Dogukin? Dogukin, I think. 
But uh, I do like the in-game hints, so we'll be trying to make them happen. So black tails look good as the outdoors. Elk, I do agree, they could probably do a little bit of a tweak. But if you go, the biggest problem that people have with black tails when they search them is that most of the time they get mule deer pop up. Uh, like a uh, a pure black tail uh, looks very similar to the ones that we've got in game. So there we go. And the other thing too is because we've got mule deer in the game, we need the racks to be distinguishable, you know. So there we go. Carlos, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Will Blacktail have a great one? So, this is the thing is we don't know uh, at this stage what's going to have great ones. Um, you know, we're going to open up for all sorts of different species. So, there's a good chance of it, yeah. Um, horseback riding, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, Whoa, 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 hang on. The uh, chat's gone crazy again. Custom reserve requests? No, we covered this one the other day, dude. I don't think it's going to happen, man. It's going to make a game broken and too easy. You you could just put whatever you want in. It's not themey, too. Um, so I doubt you'll get custom reserves where you can add whatever animals you want to it. Um... A sword hunting gladiator. I don't, if you can find me someone that goes hunting with swords, I'd like to see that. It'd be interesting. Bjorn, how you going, man? PS4 patch, PS4 patch. So um, there is a lot of fixes coming out in the next, as you guys just saw, hopefully, actually. Uh, there's a lot of bug fixes coming out, so. SC Outdoors answered your question, buddy, on YouTube. More maps of fellow dude, Joe Moore. That's cool, man. I like, I like, I'd like to see that too. Uh, dogs. We've we've covered dogs a few times in the stream. Dogs would be something else that would be good to <laughs> to uh, have in game. Look at these coming in. I thought there was more than one there actually, but uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, let's so let's go back over it again, ladies and gentlemen. This is about an information stream. So we had an awesome time over the weekend with the beta. Like it was the best one I've ever done, for, you know, by far. And it was so good to see such a uh, engaged community. Um, the feature is great ones, okay, so it's not non-typicals, okay, the, the great one happens to have a non-typical uh, rack to it, but non-typical racks is not the feature, okay, so great ones are a new, I'll rewind again, okay, so the idea with this feature, if you're a hunter in real life, you'll know that everybody's got the story about this crazy animal that your granddad saw or some guy at the pub you know, and he was telling you about all sorts of stuff about this, This, you know, oh, it's got like a, uh, you know, barbed wire wrapped in it, it's, uh, it's and it looks really cool. It's got a big spot, black spot on it, something like that. So the idea with this feature is that we want to put these kind of um, great animals out there. Uh oh. Am I going to get Eden? Please don't eat me. Um, yeah, and and so it's it, they're going to be very very rare, and are like if you get one, like you can thank lucky stars. Basically, um, it's uh, designed to just kind of be like those mythical animals that you hear about in real life, and so um, we will slowly be adding more to the game as well. Um, and yeah, you just you just never know what's going to be out there basically from now on. So that's that's kind of the idea about it. Um, and obviously, you know, like the they need to be standout, so they don't they don't necessarily have to have a huge big rack on them all the time. They could we were saying about this earlier could have different things like um, uh, one could be in velvet. Someone suggested that, or um, you know, maybe it's got like uh, you know an upside down 
like some of them grow with like weird twists and the antlers and stuff like that so there we go uh you want a really chunky one with tiny antlers there we go there's all sorts of things right it's just designed so you never really know what's out there there's always a chance you're gonna run into something amazing you know or even more amazing i should say obviously diamonds and stuff are still there and still great too but um it'll make the game much more realistic thank you there we go kelvin no worries at all dude i just it's just a good a little addition to the game to uh to, to make it a bit deeper you know uh swift ninja the ibex and alka getting looked at for the scoring can you get rid of need zones brads i think too many people would cry to be honest with you brads um i don't know I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to get uh, done. So there we go. Um, Yo Kiwi did the great one in the beta have a predetermined rack. It was a true rack that was found. So that they have tr that one has true racks. So uh, it it's non-typical rack has different variations. So there we go. It also can be spawned as a it can have a rare skin as well on it, which is what some people were seeing with the piebald, the fabled piebald basically. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, new archery stuff. I'd love to see that, Austin. That'd be good. Uh, picture frames in the lodge. We could diff oh. I don't really want to get eaten by a lion. But if it happens, it happens, okay. I'm not backing down, line. Either you gotta back down or I gotta or I'm gonna die, one of the two. And the third option obviously is that uh, it dies first. That'd be a nice one. Um is there a chance to get a Sweden map? I got asked this the other day too. I think if that was going to happen, there'd probably be a Scandinavian map shadow, and we'd bo we'd borrow all the good parts from different parts of Scandinavia. We could do the White Tower from Finland. Um, you know, uh, we could do some of the cool marshy lands from Denmark and things, uh, and then do some of the rocks from Norway. Um, we could have uh, all the hipsters from Stockholm. <laughs> but um, no, I don't know. There's I think that would be the best way to do that map. What in the world's making all that racket? Um, I said Finland, I did. A Scandinavia map. That it was you, uh, I think it was you, wasn't it, Valdemar? We were talking about it. I take a Harry's birthday. Happy birthday to you, Damien. 44 years young, mate. It's young, not old. Any plans on alligators, crocodiles, Mr. Mills, nothing uh, on the horizon. But uh, again, it's always a, uh, a feature that's kind of requested, so you never know. I don't even know where this lion is. It's just a big scaredy cat, I think. Um, a New Zealand map, Hunter New Zealand, it would be awesome. I'd be down on that. Uh... So you saying there is already non typicals in the game since it Where is it? Is it gonna Is it gonna eat my face? Why would I be stalking it through bushes I can hardly see through? Not the smartest play here, Mr. Miller. Not the smartest play. Uh, did you find the hyena corn yet? Hey Josh, how are you man? Not yet, but there's some really funny art getting put up. So we, we cemented the uh, the beta chat channel actually, is the fabled ones, because it was amazing over the weekend. Like if you guys were, if you guys are bored or were bored or whatever, um, go and join the Discord and get amongst the chat there. It was hilarious. It was so much fun. It was really, really awesome. 
not going to go to Leighton, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, everybody had a little bit of their Leighton fill in the weekend. Um, where is this lion? I hear it. I don't see it. Can you guys make the Greedos Ivox horns much bigger? Just like you want even be even bigger, Joe? Okay, with some good feedback. Many game, I appreciate everything you guys have done. It's amazing how I got hooked to the game. I was across Fooster playing on YouTube, Justin. There we go. A shout out to Mr. Fooster then. They make some really good content. Him and the Taco, and then of course Fisk as well. All right, so maybe this is what this is what was it, what was uh, growling at us before. Um, mm, mm, mm. What about a Texas map? Texas map, map could be cool. I think, uh, I mean, there's a lot of different places in uh, America and it's uh, all got its good, you know, good parts to, to add to the game, I suppose. Uh, uh, so a non-typical is going to become possibly in white tail once. No, so the the non-typical feature is not coming out, ladies and gentlemen. It is just well, not not just. It is the great ones, and this great one happens to have a non-typical rack on it. Okay, so the actual adding non-typicals into the population that will come at another stage. So. Uh, you watched Zaggy DK for three days. It was awesome. Nice, new feet. Nice. Uh, oh my gosh. Questions, questions, questions. You guys love turkeys on the next map? Well, we're just saying that turkeys have been confirmed for some time this year. So, you, you know, that will be happening. Um, kind of way to throw everyone off. Give us non tips, but it's not an non tips. That's the feature. Yeah. I saw your video this morning, Zaggy, and I was just like, not like this, Zaggy. Not like this, dude. But, yeah, it's all good. Um, I don't know how to use a camera. I oh, so you want, like, a scrapbook to put your photos in? That'd be cool. Like, so you go through, like, a hunting diary. More multi-mounts, Sam Shepard. I think that's something that will just happen over time. Um, when will the Great Ones feature be live? So we haven't set any date yet. We're just going. We took all the feedback from the beta over the weekend um, and uh, gathered it all together. So we just need to look at because remember, the, actually, the main point which ha which worked really good was the to test the fixes and stuff that we wanted uh, to get checked uh, by you guys. And then obviously the Great Ones was a was a nice little uh, bonus. It was good. Um, we don't know what the next species is to get the great one and I was just saying is I don't think we will tell you I think you'll just see it in the patch notes great one released um, and then that'll be that'll be it basically man I gotta get close to this line surely uh... When you can, you can hear them sniffing. That's when I start to uh, getting just a touch worried. Uh, I don't even think I missed something. Well, again, too many questions. Hang on a second. Could you add a three hundred eight rifle or a ten mil pistol? I'd like to see a three hundred eight. I think that'd be a good, a good addition to the game. This is why you need a gun, TK. Nah, bow for me, all day, every day, man. I think it's. Uh, 
Look at this. This is crazy. I get more adrenaline out of doing this with a bow than I would with a gun. I think maybe a handgun might be kind of fun too, actually, but uh, I'm hoping to come across these lines. Uh, wait, your bow hunting lines got some balls, sir. It's, I, if you guys don't know, I basically just exclusively bow hunt in this game. It's my jam, okay? I mean, obviously, I do like using the guns too, but uh, this is this is this is my uh, like I say, my jam. Oh no, we're we gonna have to go through. I think we're gonna have to go through some uh, some lion grass, elephant grass, I should say. Oh, it's running away. So I think it's. Uh, I don't think it wants anything to do with me. Oh, was that it there? Oh, I think I just saw it. Um. Right, well we've got... Uh, Jeremy G. Jamie knows. TK with a gun, I shoot trees and statues. And with a bow, I actually managed to hit some stuff. So there we go. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, five o'clock on the dot, which means uh, that is today's stream done and dusted. Talk them into getting obsession bows in the game. Oh, I wish that would be funny. That would be funny. Uh, that might be mixing. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's take a couple more questions, and then uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up, eh? Can you say when the patch for consoles will come out? Casey's Unlimited Outdoors, there's been no uh, release date yet. It'll all come out, as far as I know, for everyone at the same time. So, Oh, who won? That's a good idea, Katush. It was Brain D, for sure. 100%. So Brain D... Oh my god, that was a... What is going on here? Brain D, get hold of me on Discord, mate, and we'll hook you up with a plushie. But again, just as like I said at the start, is there might be a bit of a delay on the actual sending things out to you guys. So, um, if you have a great one in map, will it remain until you will it remain until you take it? Grant, it will indeed. Should do. Uh, Sir Pun is live playing Call of Duty. If you're looking for a raid, we could raid someone. Zaggy, that's a good idea. Um, what other questions do we have? The intent of the beta, not the non typical is so why is the great one a non typical if it wasn't part of the No 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 so just to run that through you guys again which actually now if I had had twenty twenty sight I would have suggested that we didn't make it a non typical. Um but um what we the first uh oh, the first uh great one just happens to be a non typical, okay? So it's it's not the non-typical feature. Like um, if we were to add non-typicals into the game as a feature, then everything would have a, a chance uh, to have non-typicals. Well, probably species by species, I guess. The white tails would have a chance. Black tails, etc. Muleys, you get the idea. Um, and so this uh, this uh, great one just happened to have a non-typical set, basically, too. And I guess they probably used it as some learning, too, right, to see how well non-typicals could work you know what they need to do to make the models and, and all that other stuff so yeah you can't buy the plushies unfortunately joshy they're just uh, at the stage presents presents gifts prizes prizes i got there eventually so there we go um could bipods be added to the guns at some point that'd be cool golden boss i'd like that it'd be good all right i am going to wrap it up ladies and gentlemen it's two minutes past three minutes past five we start a little bit early today too um and yeah, I just want to thank each and all of you guys for a fantastic stream. Um, yeah, I really enjoy you guys as a community. I've, I said this a lot of time in the beta and the weekend, but you make my work really fun. And I love being able to put fun stuff together for you guys. And then watch your guys' reactions to it all. I really feed off that. It's great. So anyway, I'll see some of you guys later. 
Um, I go live about eight o'clock tonight, and of course, please go and sh- you know give or every, all the other content creators a lot of good love. You know, there's a lot of people that are busting their butts to bring out good videos and stuff for you on uh, YouTube, and um, yeah, it's just such a good community. Uh, have a good one, and we'll see you next week. Catch you later, everyone. Bye. Right, where's the? Uh oh, the end.